name's Hank. I have to find my family. That's a hard one, kid. Well, I guess you're stuck here. You're not helping, Bill. How's it going, everybody? Today I'm going to be reviewing the sequel to Finding Nemo, Finding Dory. I finally made it to the theater to watch these films. I still need to watch a bunch more to get caught up while I was away on vacation. But here's the first of, uh, a, I guess you could say many, coming as follow-up, like I said, to Finding Nemo. And Dory basically has this memory that she finally remembers of her parents and she needs to find them. She wants to find them. She, she lost them as a kid and she hasn't been able to find them since. And she finally remembers, so we go on an adventure to find her parents. Now, I, I liked Finding Nemo. It, it's not my favorite Pixar movie. That's our Toy Story for sure. But I like Finding Nemo. Uh, it's kind of funny in my theater Like I, when I watched it. Uh, the majority of it seemed to be young adults, uh, not too much kids, uh, which is kind of funny. But uh, So I liked Finding Nemo, and going into this one, I had high hopes. I was kind of fearing that it was the same as Finding Nemo, because it sounds like kind of a similar premise. But my fears were relieved early on, and uh, it is indeed a different story. We meet some new great characters, such as the one behind me, Hank. He's awesome. Uh, he's kind of the grumpy guy, and he, he helps Dory. You also get to meet Bailey the Beluga, whose sonar doesn't work, and Destiny the Whale. But my favorite characters in this one are only here for like three or four scenes max, and uh, one of them is voiced by Idris Elba. And it is these sea lions on this rock. And if you've seen the trailer, the first of all, when I saw that final trailer and these sea lions showed up, I laughed my ass off. And then I watched the movie and they show up again and they continue to do so for the rest of the film. I was almost in, I didn't cry at these sad parts in this film. I cried at the funny parts because for whatever reason, these sea lions just cracked me up, especially, I can't remember the one's name. I'm going to remember it, but uh, I think it's Gerald is the sea lion's name. And it just cracked me up. It, it killed me. It really did. Uh, as well as, uh, I think it's Becky, is this this bird that you meet, and again, that it was hilarious as well. Uh, those are my funniest parts of the movie by far, in my opinion. There's some really uh, sweet, sentimental moments. If you weren't a fan of Finding Nemo, I don't know if it will affect you as much. Uh, my girlfriend, on the other hand, was she was really emotionally affected by it or whatever, like, and uh, I was too, somewhat, and uh, it, it's, they're sad moments, they're very relatable moments of uh, just finding home again almost if you've been away for a while and I guess some not necessarily negatives but the story is familiar there's nothing really inventive of it you kind of know uh, what's going to happen in the end and uh, even when things take a left turn kind of thing you're like oh no this is gonna happen I never really bought into that um, which it just took a little bit of the impact of it out when you find out like a certain reveal or, or some sort and it's like okay I don't think that's actually the case so I think it's gonna go this way and, and sure enough it was uh, but like I said, it, it was funny though. It was really funny and it doesn't have like a, too many adult jokes in it. There's like one in particular near the beginning uh, that was really funny. Uh, also Dory as a lead character I thought might be a little like one note almost because she's a short term memory loss. She's a great sidekick but I don't know if she's like like in the forefront character and uh, she was. She was. She was great. I think they know how to write for her and uh, with the short term memory loss and it worked really well. Meanwhile some other movies like the Minions with the side characters took the forefront. I didn't think that worked it really at all. Uh, this one did so uh, so I enjoyed that part of it. Uh, again there's just there's a lot of heart in this film, a lot of funny moments in it. I think you can have a good time with this movie. There's not really too, like I said, it's not a complex story. You can definitely take your kids to this one. Uh, it's for the fun for the whole family. It's a Pixar film. It's definitely not a bad Pixar film. Uh, if anything I, I'd put it up in like my in my top 10 but there's only like 16 Pixar films I, I put it in my like top eight top eight Pixar films it, it's up there it's really fun I had a fun time with it and uh, I think you guys will too again the funny moments really is what kind of put over the edge if I did if those moments didn't hit I think I would have like oh I liked it I liked it but for those moments uh, I gotta give it a give it give it a bump up uh, for that I give it a movie rating of an 8 out of 10 as for my enjoyment rating I give it a 9 out of 10 I really enjoyed myself watching this film and I would watch it again uh, I guess no Toy Story for me but uh, what is really. Anyways, let me know your thoughts on Finding Dory if you've seen it in the comment section below, or if you're looking forward to it, let me know why you are looking forward to it. Let me know your best Pixar film as well. Uh, interested to see that. Again, be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos each and every week. That is it, and I will talk to y'all later.